with another video and this time it's Halloween. So we've got three different DIYs today. Food, drink and decor. Easy things that you can make yourself at home. So first thing we're going to start with is a baby platter. And <laughs> this was inspired by the first season of American Horror Story. AHS fans, you know what I'm talking about. But we're going to start with a baby doll and cut off its limbs. So you're left with these parts. Put them aside for a moment because we're going to make some fake blood. So first thing you'll need to do is just get a mixing bowl and we're going to combine some honey. That was my brother. He's helping me out today. So add some honey to the bowl and you're also going to add some water and some food colouring. Now this is going to depend on how you want the blood. There is a recipe on Wiki for simple fake blood but you're just going to kind of mix and match the ingredients until you get the consistency that you want. We used red and blue food dye just to get it to a more realistic ready brown blood colour and later on you'll see we're going to add some cornstarch in there as well to make the recipe a bit thicker so it looks more clotty and blood like. Once you mix that all together, this is the colour and consistency that you would want. This is what we got. And we're going to start by adding the limbs and dipping them in. So I want to take the baby's hand first. Make sure that when you cut the limbs off the doll that you add a little bit of material there on the end so that blood has something to stick to. We're going to put these hands in a jar full of water later and it's going to rub off the skin but it won't rub off the material. <laughs> so just roll it around in the blood until you get the look that you're going for. And this is what ours ended up looking like. And just repeat this same process with all the other parts that you've got. So once all of those are complete, uh, we're going to leave the baby head aside for the next DIY. But back to this one, we're going to put the hands into a small jar full of water. And we're also going to add a little bit of extra food colouring to this jar just to make the water look a bit more bloody and realistic. And we're going to repeat the same process with the legs using a large jar, obviously and filling the water up a bit lower so that the legs have a bit more room to stand upright instead of floating on the water. And again, we added some red and blue food colouring to make the blood a bit more browny red and a bit more realistic. So this is what the jars ended up looking like. We put them on top of a silver platter that we found at the thrift shop and also at the thrift shop we found this cool looking bonnet that we also dipped in blood and added it to the plate. And this kind of adds to the whole Victorian era style theme that we were going for. That's where the story of the first season of American Horror Story was set. So it really ties well into the theme. And this is the finished product. This is what the whole baby plate looks like. So day one number two, we're gonna use the baby head and we're gonna make some punch. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is put a cup in the middle of the bowl and rest the baby's head on top. That way the baby head doesn't touch any of the drink or punch that you're going to put in next. So what we did for the punch was add a combination of fruit juices and some red food colouring. You can use any recipe that you want to make your punch. I would recommend adding food colouring to it though anyways just to make sure that it's a really bloody red colour. And for fillings, you can use whatever you want. We crushed up some jelly and added it in there and also some fresh fruits, including watermelon, strawberry and some slices of lemon. But again, that's up to you and what you prefer. And DIY number three is cupcakes. So we just used a packet mix of red velvet cupcakes, added some red frosting and then took another Barbie doll that we found at the thrift shop and took off its limbs as well. And you can see my brother here is now adding 
Barbie's hands and legs into the cupcakes. Now, how you want to do this is up to you. You can stick the hands coming out of the cupcake or laying across. And we also found some really cool ping pong like eyeballs at the $2 shop as well. And we added these to the cupcakes as well. Anything again that you can find at your $2 shop really cheaply, maybe some little mini skeletons or some spiders, you can add them to the cupcakes as well and it would make it look really festive and Halloween-y. And lastly we added some jelly babies to the top because they are delicious. So these could look like mummies or dead people or whatever you want. Again, this is up to you. They're tasty, so you put them on. And that's the end of the tutorial. So these are the three DIYs. Hoped you enjoyed this. We really had a lot of fun making all of these. Again, all of these um, items you could find really cheaply at your dollar stores or thrift shops or maybe stuff that you have lying around at home. We don't really celebrate Halloween too much here in Australia, but I really love it. My brother and sister and I really love watching horror movies and we love getting into the spirit of Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, these DIYs. Hope you try them out and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.